Good morning, it's Thursday the 31st of March and this is your daily outlook. The euro edges higher as risk appetite stabilises. The euro edged higher against the dollar as world equities turn positive and risk appetite begins to heal. Interest rate expectations continue to support the single currency. ECB members Stark and Binish Margi maintained their hawkish stance, saying that monetary policy will gradually normalise in the following months. Today, EU consumer price index is expected to reveal a 2.3% gain. Also today, Ireland is expected to release the results of the banking system stress tests and question remains whether more capital will be needed. Against the dollar, the euro rallied to 141.74 from 140.51 trading yesterday. The US dollar appears weaker against a basket of currencies today, weighed by higher demand for riskier assets. US ADP employment came roughly as expected, revealing 201,000 new employed people for March. The positive ADP figures indicate a strong non-fund payrolls report released tomorrow. Focus now turns to today's initial jobless claims. The Japanese yen rose yesterday, supported by demand from Japanese exporters. Against the yen, the US dollar edged lower, falling to 82.55 from 83.20. The Australian dollar rallied against the US dollar today, supported by better than expected retail sales data and rising commodity prices. The Aussie jumped to record high levels against the greenback, hitting 103.45 from 102.68. Sterling also advanced against the dollar after housing prices showed an unexpected 0.5% increase. The pair rose to 161.20 from 159.77 trading yesterday. Oil prices remained elevated, supported by Libyan unrest, jumping to $105.11 a barrel. Gold rose to $1,429.94 an ounce from $1,411.82. Currencies to watch out for the sterling dollar and the dollar yen. The sterling dollar pivot point is at 160.40, with a preference to enter into long positions at 160.50. The dollar yen pivot point is at 83.25, with a preference to enter into short positions at 83.25. Today's calendar of market movers, Europe consumer price index in March is forecast to gain 2.3%. US initial jobless claims is forecast to fall to 380,000. Canada gross domestic product in January is forecast to gain 0.5%. And US factory orders in February is forecast to gain 0.5%. Now onto equity markets. US equities were positive yesterday with the SP500 up 0.67% and the Dow was up 0.58%. European bursts were also positive with the FTSE up 0.27%, the DAX was up 1.77% and the CAC was up 0.92%. At the time of writing, the Nikkei was up 0.17% and the Hang Seng was up 0.10%. This has been your Daily Outlook. I'm Emma and Joe from the Easy Forex Dealing Room. Have a good day. Not only have you found a great place for Forex news, you found a great place to trade it. Registration is easy. Just click join now. Membership has its unique benefits, such as the freeze rate, the trade simulator, the inside viewer, and personal dealers. Your personal account manager is waiting for you now.